everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We're doing our first example of integration by partial fractions. For each of our example videos in this topic, we have actually worked out the partial fractions piece of the work for this problem in a separate video that we've posted. You can check out the link here uh, to get to that work. So here I have the integral of 2x plus 53 over x squared minus 3x minus 10. I'll just go ahead and say that I notice that I have a higher degree in my denominator polynomial than I do in my numerator polynomial. I have the highest power of x squared, which is higher than the highest power x. Also, this is a factorable polynomial on the bottom, so we are able to split this up into separate fractions, partial fractions. And so you can check out in the other video the work that leads us to the partial fractions. Uh, we end up getting the integral of 9 over x minus 5 minus 7 over x plus 2 dx. Once we get this partial fraction decomposition done, then these are actually both going to become log rules. If you let u equal to x minus 5, the denominator, and then we would have du equals dx, similar over here. If I think of u equal to x plus 2, and then we have du equal to dx, we will end up with 9 du over u, which is log rule, minus integral 7 du over u, which is also log rule. For the first one, we'll get 9 ln of absolute value of u, which in the first one will be ln of absolute value x minus 5, minus 7 ln of that u, absolute value, which would be x plus 2 for the second one, plus c, and there's not much else to do here. For these partial fractions, you're likely to get ln rules. You might get a u substitution. Uh, you might get an inverse tangent definition here or there. Um, but once we get the partial fractions actually done, a lot of these are pretty short. Again, if you want some of the extra details, check out the link to our partial fractions example one video that actually works out the partial fractions part of this. Okay, we'll see you in the example two video.